Hi, I'm Shannon. And I want to talk about aging in place. I know a lot of you are considering aging in place and maybe your parents are thinking about it. I have a few tips um, about things to think about if you're thinking about aging in place in the future. The first is, <clears throat> you know, if you can have a, a single level home, that's a kind of an obvious one. But that becomes really important. And some people have stairs leading up to their house. So getting an estimate on what it might cost to get a ramp um, to, to go in and, and out of the house would be very important, as well as um, if you have stairs that lead to a garage, uh, getting estimates as far as what, what the cost might be to put a, put a ramp in. If you're in a large house, it might be a good time to downsize into something smaller and that's on the same level. Um, even stairs inside a house can be quite dangerous and make a, an obstacle that's, that's difficult. So if there are stairs, if it's only a couple of stairs, finding out if they're um, amenable to a ramp is, is a good idea to start with now. Um, also showers, if you have a shower that has a step up, is there a way to create uh, a level floor, um, maybe raise the floor up to meet the shower level floor, or do something else to eliminate that um, that step over. It's best if you have a shower that allows you to actually put like a push like a chair in. Um, also, bathrooms should be big enough that if you had a wheelchair, you could bring the wheelchair in and you could turn the wheelchair around. Always want to have uh, bars everywhere, so you know making sure that you can install bars. And one of the things that I love recently um, is this pole. <laughs> seems silly but um, having a pole close to the bathroom that's the, the actual toilet that's close to the shower so it's just a, a standing pole that people can grab as they're going to the bathroom but also grab as they're coming out of the shower it's it's really great to have a pole in the bathroom um, if that's an option for you so getting estimates on that as well um, obviously bedrooms on the ground floor are ideal um, although you can get a stair lift, um, stair lifts, I've just priced them out for a client are running. If you have just straight stairs, it's a lot cheaper. They run from like 2,500 to like $8,500 right now. Um, if it's a curved stairway, I think the quote that we got was like 11,500 for a curved stair lift. I um, mean, that's like the chair that goes up the stairs. So, you know, those can be options. Um, it just, it can take a while <laughs> to get up and down the stairs, um, but they can be very helpful um, if, you're, if you're someone who wants to stay at home and, and you have an upstairs bedroom and you're somewhat mobile. Um, it can be more challenging, obviously, if you're in a wheelchair and you don't have somebody helping you, then it's hard to get your wheelchair up and down. So it needs to be in combination with somebody else living in the home or being a helper for you. Um, some of the other things to think about when aging in place are resources. Um, so there can be resources like the senior center, they may have a home delivery uh, option for um, meals. Um, you may also have uh, socialization at that senior center and they're actually in your community, you should check and see if they have options for providing transportation. Um, because you know it may be the case that eventually you can't really drive yourself anymore. So aging in place, um, you want to know ahead of time, like, will there be transportation options for you? Um, some of the other things that I, I like to bring to people's attention are in a, when we're talking about resources are things like community resources. Is there, if, it's, if you're a couple and one of you has dementia, is there a day treatment program um, where you can kind of have a break as a caregiver and leave our loved one with uh, dementia for the day somewhere, maybe a couple of days a week. Medicare is starting to cover those. I think it's two half days a week, depending on what type of Medicare you have, but traditional Medicare, um, if you qualify. So there's lots of other resources as well that people don't always think about. Um, your church uh, people, if you have um, colleagues that you are often affiliating with at church, sometimes they have programs that allow for um, you know, just running errands for you or getting you to the doctor. Um, also, if you have a local university, there may be some volunteers uh, available who are like studying geriatrics, who might be willing to participate in, in those kinds of um, volunteer, volunteer programs. Um, if you have an illness like cancer, um, sometimes there's actual um, charitable organizations that are set up to help drive you to and from appointments as well. 
some of the other community resources that are often overlooked are things like in if you have a, a university nearby and they have like a displaced homemakers program like we do here in Gainesville um, that program can provide workers at a lower cost sometimes live in in exchange for room and board you might be able to find a worker to come and live with you especially if you have um, a situation where you have an extra room in your house and then of course I always talk about long-term care insurance and um, reverse mortgages to create an income stream for you to continue to live and age in place. Um, we know that 51% of people who own their own home right now actually have no mortgage on their property. So that may be a good resource for you to pull the equity out of your home if you're on a limited um, income stream like Social Security only. Um, and I, you know, you can watch the other video on, um, on uh, those reverse mortgages, but there's ways for you to take lump sums out, like if you needed to make improvements in your home. Um, it, you know, so if you needed to like enlarge your shower or create a different situation in your bathroom, um, the reverse mortgage may just create what you need in order to, um, to stay home. Of course, you want to make sure that you can stay in your home at least five years. Okay, so aging in place, that's lots of information for you. I always recommend using the services of a life care planning attorney or at least a geriatric care manager who can help with like providing caregiving and making sure that everything that you need is in place. One other thing that I just thought of, the floor in your house. This seems like a silly thing, but if you're thinking of replacing your floor um, and you want to age in place, tr make sure that you replace it with something that's, that's not slippery, like a non-slip surface. Um, will be very important when um, when you're when you're older um, eliminating uh, like rugs and um, things where you can trip um, even carpet is not the best it's better to have like a hard type floor that is non-slip okay that's what I've got today I hope all are as well have a great day I'm Shannon